Alright MS Warriors, grab your orange heart emojis because science just dropped a plot twist. Researchers at the University of Illinois Chicago may have just found a way to stop MS without shutting down your immune system. Yep, instead of hitting the off switch, they found a way to retrain it. Let's break down how this could change everything. Today, the discovery, why it's different, the path to patience, and the big reveal at the end. Breaking news and this is the good kind. Most MS drugs work like a sledgehammer. They suppress your entire immune system. That helps stop flare-ups, but leaves you open to infections, fatigue, and side effects. What if instead of silencing your immune system, we could teach it to chill? That's exactly what UIC researchers asked, and their answer might redefine treatment. Patients often avoid crowds, wash like surgeons, and manage constant anxiety about infections. It's using a sledgehammer to fix a delicate watch, stopping one leak by turning off water to the whole neighborhood. Fatigue, nausea, and day-to-day -day challenges become the trade-off. The holy grail has always been specificity. Stop only the part that's gone haywire, a treatment that's a sniper rifle, not a bomb. Here's where the genius part comes in. The UIC team created tiny nanoparticles coated with bits of myelin, the material MS attacks. When these particles enter your body, they act like peace negotiators. They deliver a message. Hey, myelin's not the enemy. Stand down. In animal models, this approach not only stopped inflammation, it reversed paralysis. Reversed as in back to walking. That's not just treatment. That's transformation. Instead of throwing a blanket over your immune system, it works like therapy. It helps immune cells remember what's safe while keeping defenses intact. It's like anger management for your immune system, and it finally works. The UIC team is working to bring this breakthrough into human trials, and the same tech might work for other autoimmune diseases too. That's one tiny nanoparticle with major overachiever energy. While the world is loud and chaotic, labs like UIC quietly change lives. Not patching holes, redesigning the ship. So how did they do it? Spoiler, nanoparticles, tiny medical superheroes. Think of a nanoparticle like a dissolvable mail package. Safe, biocompatible, biodegradable. They coat it with myelin peptides. The exact flags T-cells wrongly target in MS. It's specific bait for specific cells. It's not like throwing dynamite in a lake. It's injected, travels the bloodstream, and heads for the spleen. Because the spleen is immune central command and training ground. Antigen presenting cells process the package and present myelin peacefully. Over aggressive T cells face myelin in a no alarm context. Many switch off energy or retire entirely, deletion. Crucially, virus and bacteria fighting T cells stay on duty. Repeated doses reinforce tolerance like ongoing classes. Over time, the myelin attacking population shrinks. The nervous system can exhale. It's a root cause fix, it's retraining miseducated T cells. So, does it work? In animals, the results are jaw-dropping, stopped progression, and often reverse paralysis. Heads up, mice are not people, but this is a powerful proof of concept. Researchers used EAE, the standard MS-like disease in mice, brain and spinal inflammation, even paralysis. They treated mice with the myelin-coated nanoparticles. First, disease progression stopped cold, inflammation subsided, rogue T-cells stood down, attack on the myelin sheath halted, then the goosebumps part, paralysis often reversed. Mice that lost hind leg function started walking again. By stopping inflammation, the body could repair, function return. Mice aren't people. Many animal miracles don't translate. Even so, reversing paralysis in an MS model is monumental. A strong proof of concept, retrain, don't suppress. Quick pit stop for hope and housekeeping is up next. If you like content like this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on another breaking news story. Old way, lockdown, all guards sent home, doors locked, cameras off, rogue agent neutralized, but now you're vulnerable to real burglars. New way, internal affairs, identify the specific rogue guards, use evidence, teach tolerance, retrain or honorably retire them. Everyone else stays on duty, the building remains protected. For people with MS, it's the difference between hiding from germs and living life. Energy to play with your kids instead of being flattened by fatigue. Keep your body's defenses ready for real threats. Suppress, and you must keep suppressing or stop, and rogue cells come back. Retrain, and you create a lasting memory, a more durable peace. It's a shift from temporary truce to a permanent peace treaty. Teach, don't suppress isn't just about MS. There are 80 plus autoimmune diseases with the same confusion, different targets. Swap myelin for each disease's antigen, a tailor-made tolerance. Type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, all potential targets a plug-and-play platform for antigen-specific immunotherapy. Decades of suppression could give way to precise fixes without collateral damage. From a Chicago lab, a ripple that could change tens of millions of lives. One elegant concept unlocking a new field. So, what happens now? The next step, human clinical trials. 
Long, careful, necessary safety first. This isn't a cure arriving next year. Patience and persistence. But this is more than a flicker. It's a guiding light. Science isn't standing still. It's getting smarter and kinder. If this gave you hope or made you go, wait, nanoparticles? Tap like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Here, we fight MS with science, sarcasm, and stubborn optimism. MS Warriors, which breakthrough excites you most? Drop it below and don't forget your orange heart. The Big Reveal, a technology that reversed paralyzing MS-like symptoms in animals by retraining the immune system, not suppressing it. This is the headline. This is the breakthrough, not just holding the line, redrawing it, not holding back a flood, fixing the dam, a move from blunt instruments to smart precision. This story is about learning the immune systems, learning to be better. It's not a cure yet, but it's the most promising lead in years. Proof that the smallest packages can carry world-changing messages.